Hi Taurus, welcome to what's happening with the ex. Right now we're going to take a look at the ex-partner and get an idea of kind of where they're at, um, what they're thinking, what they're feeling, what they're dealing with. And we'll also look at their hopes and fears and what is uh, blocking them, as well as the advice and outcome and a quick little bit on where they're headed towards over the next couple of weeks. So right now we are looking at the Four of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, Taurus, so the Four of Cups is about a person who is focused on one cup but not the other cups. Now, this indicates that they're dealing with a soulmate, okay? Because if you look, you've got three cups about the same height and one cup's larger, and they're looking at this cup. They recognize who you are now. They may not have realized who you were before, but they definitely are focused on the larger cup in this spread. The Two of Pentacles is about staying in balance, okay? It's about juggling things. They may have had another person involved in the picture that you were not aware of. Maybe some of you were. But if you look at this card, see how it has, it looks like an eight. That's the sign of infinity. So this is the other part of the soulmate card. Two cards indicating soulmate. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. This is a person who's very grounded, very stable energy, nurturing, very, um, very good at in a motherly kind of way, I know this can indicate male, female, but what I mean is very nurturing, very giving, very caring individual who knows how to create wealth, run the family, run the household, run the finances, and is excellent at work as well. So they're focused on you now. They recognize who you are and they're trying to keep in balance because I think they just all of a sudden had this like, oh God, I know who they are. Oh my gosh, I know who they're supposed to, how they fit into my life. And they are dealing with this other person. This person's in their life. This is not you. Now, as a clarifying card, we have the world. So this is successfully completing a cycle of your life and starting a brand new cycle. And what they're coming to, the, they are coming to the realization that you are the person they're supposed to be with. So I think what they're doing is trying to keep themselves in balance because they're dealing with this other individual. Now this, this is an actual person that's in their life. This is their ex-partner or a current partner. Yep. And they need to move forward. They know they need to move forward. They're, they're recognizing you though. And it's thrown them off balance because they are involved with this individual. But because they're starting a new cycle in their life, they need to make some changes. And they know this. And they're going to move forward, okay? They're gonna get rid of this person and come to you. But let's take a look at their hopes and fears and see where we're headed on this, okay? So we have an idea of what their current energy is. They recognize you, they recognize the union. Their hope is the sun, okay? This is about illumination. This is about going through their spiritual transformation. Even though they're with this person, it's like they've been spiritually enlightened. You may have come to them through their dreams, um, through synchronicities where all of a sudden they had an aha moment oh shit I'm with the wrong person I don't want this person I don't like this person this is about anything that's secret coming to light anything that's secret so if they were holding back on how they felt about you or why they just up and left you or you them 
they're being enlightened in a, a huge, huge way, profound way of what they need to do to start this brand new cycle. So their hope is to have this with you. This is, it can't get much better than this. This is ultimate happiness, joy, love, prosperity, abundance. This encompasses everything under the sun. And it also illuminates anything under the sun as well. So this is actually quite lovely. Now, this is the higher font. So it's a, it represents change. It represents standing strong in your traditions and values. It can indicate status quo. So for this individual, their fear is change. Their fear is making this change in their life and standing up to their family and friends and saying, oh, I made a mistake. This is not the person I want to be with. It's my soulmate over there that I want to be with. So it's about them actually standing strong in who they are and speaking with the, with truth and making the changes in their life. And for some people, that is very, very difficult when they're dealing with family and friends in their environment. They may have been listening to their family and friends, which is why they picked this person. This person has a lot of money, whoever they were dealing with. So it could be a relationship of convenience. So what we're going to do now um, is take a look at what's blocking them, where what the advice and the outcome is, as well as where they're headed over the next week or two. Um, from this energy moving into a new energy. So if you'd like to click the link below, we'll shoot over to Vimeo and take a look at the rest of this. And I'll see you on the other side.